Hey everybody, welcome to another old guy camping adventure. My name is Martin Wilsey and I'm your resident old guy. You know, I, I say that, you know, only because I'm 63 years old, but I still feel like I'm 30 on the inside. Which means even though it's uh, currently 38 degrees and raining, I'm still going camping. This time I'm going to uh, rural Virginia, the Seven Bends region of the Shenandoah River. I am staying this time at Shenandoah River State Park. Um, I have an electric site, so I won't freeze my uh, ass off. And that's good. It's about a two hour drive from here. I got a full tank of gas and I've already drank a whole pot of coffee. So I'm good to go. And uh, I will pick this up when I get there. See ya. So here we are in uh, Shenandoah River State Park. Behind me at the overlook you can see here, uh, this is uh, one of the seven bends from the Shenandoah. Uh, this place is called Colors Overlook. And it's an amazing view that I am sure will not convey on the GoPro. Uh, the, the views below, you probably can't even see the uh, I can see a yurt right there. That's part of the park. And uh, so it should be interesting to, uh, to stay here. The, the rain has pushed its way out. We got blue skies now coming our way. So that'll be good. Uh, it's still pretty cool. It's in the upper 40s right now. It's headed up to in the mid 50s today. That'll be nice. But uh, we have begun our old guy camping adventure. I'm loving it already. Hope the wind doesn't make this too loud, but I just checked in and uh, the view from the visitor center is pretty spectacular. Uh, I hear a train. Even that's cool. Uh, so I'm uh, next up I'll be heading to my campsite to see uh, what it's like over there. So as expected, I, uh, after taking a tour around the entire campground, I am the only person camping. I mean, besides the camp host. My campsite's pretty interesting. I, uh, it, it has a, it's kind of a cutout into a hillside. And uh, I think it's gonna be pretty nice in that the fire pit will have shelter from the wind on uh, multiple sides, so that'll be cool. I'm going to set up my rain fly over the picnic table here, and it's going to be nice and quiet. Plus the view of the mountains is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to enjoy that. Well, camp set up. Before I give you a tour, I, uh, I'm going to sit down and, you know, have a Diet Coke and uh, I'll relax a little bit. It's turned out to be warm. I had to peel off all my layers down to my t-shirt uh, because it's so nice. There's a slight breeze here. And another really good thing is there's absolutely no cellular single, signal. So uh, I'll be really enjoying the quiet. I am the only guy in this entire campground. I'm digging it. And uh, it's going to be a good night because the rain has passed. 
and I'll give you a tour coming right up as soon as I let some of this uh, sweat uh, evaporate and finish my soda. I'll be right back. Okay, camp set, set up. I uh, had a bowl of ramen for lunch. I uh, am now ready for the tour. Let's uh, get started. Here we'll uh, start by... Uh, I, am, I brought my e-bike with me. I'm very excited about that. I uh, um, have got my trail cams set up here. I got two of them, one there and one over there. Uh, reason for that is I can't believe how many bear warnings there were with uh, when I signed in the into the park. So it'd be interesting if I get some black bears here uh, checking out the camp at night. Um, got my fire all laid out for tonight. Got some good firewood for once. Uh, got my canopy set up as usual. Got my lanterns all set up. Got all my cooking and grill stuff set up. I even brought my... Uh, mushroom propane heater just in case I do get cold uh, got my chairs set up I'm all excited about that um, the camp itself you know it's pretty straightforward I got a good picnic table it's a pretty good setup here I like the, the way that this little alcove is created with uh, with the site it cuts down on the wind I'm hoping it makes the fire a lot nicer um, once again, I think I'm the only person in this campground. Um, the truck camper is all set and ready to go. I got electricity on this site, so it should be a really comfy night's sleep. It's going to get down to 39 tonight. And uh, it will be super, super comfy. But there is the whole site. I am uh, set up. And... Now it's time to relax and just enjoy myself. I'm about ready to crack open my book. The one that's made out of dead trees. I love it. This is take two. Because I forgot to turn off the music and I don't want to get a copyright strike. Anyway, uh, the cigar I'm enjoying today is a Nika Aristica um, from Tobacology.com. And... Uh, uh, I want to thank Brett and thank Plummer specifically for the recommendation here. I really enjoy these. These are uh, really good cigars, and uh, I uh, always enjoy taking them camping with me. I have like a Pavlovian association with relaxing and having cigars, and uh, camping is a perfect time to, to have one, and uh, this one is particularly nice. Thanks, guys. I'll leave a link for Tobacology in the description, as always. And thanks. Now, time to get back to relaxing. So on this camp out, the book I have to read is uh, Homeworld by Harry Harrison. Uh, classic science fiction. I got it at McKay's used bookstore, my favorite uh, used bookstore, uh, for a dollar. Um, I haven't read this, and Harry Harrison's uh, one of my favorite authors. Uh, this is a pretty short book, so I should be able to crank this out during this trip. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, uh, as well as listening to the birds. <laughs> On cue. Boy, that one's really singing.
I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but tonight for dinner, I am uh, making uh, spicy Italian sausages over the fire. Um, I've got this handy dandy uh, uh, rack that I can uh, uh, turn them over periodically to make sure that they cook evenly. And I got some really good coals going right now, so dinner should be ready in like uh, less than half an hour. My sausages are ready. something to drink. Here we go. They're spicy, but they're also temperature hot. Eating dinner via headlamp. That's always fun. So tonight I was being lazy. I was gonna make peppers and onions with this. Have some rolls with it. I just decided I'm gonna just eat sausages. I've just been uh, sitting around the fire listening to some good tunes while uh, made a good bed of coals to cook up sausages and then I cook the sausages and they're perfect yeah it's gonna be interesting tonight I'm gonna to have to clean up really well because of the threat of bears they keep Warning about bears, we'll see. They even warned not to use citronella candles because apparently they even attract bears. Weird. Smells of cooking though. Who knows? Got my bear spray handy. I'm just making sure it's still handy. Yep. So quiet here. It's crazy quiet. <laughs> so quiet that even the smallest of noises seems really loud. Who knows how far away that stuff is? What's interesting is I don't even hear planes here. There must not be any patterns whatsoever that come over this uh, state park. It's really wonderful. It's really odd sitting around the fire. The only loud thing that there is are birds. <laughs> Oh, man, 
man, these are so good. Nice and spicy. All five sausages are gone, so I might as well clean up and go back to the fire. <clears throat> so I've got this new light on my GoPro. Uh, seems to work okay. Boy, it's kind of hard to look at. <laughs> um, so it's cold now. It's, it's going to get down in the mid-30s tonight, and uh, it's heading that way already. Uh, don't know what the current temperature is. Got no internet access. I have uh, my thermometers in the truck, and uh, I, uh, I'm too lazy to go check. So, um, But as the first test of the new light on the camera, seems to be working pretty good. I'm... I mean, it's got all these settings. This is the lowest light setting, and uh, I think you can see me. I think you can. That's me. Oh, yeah. Well, I've moved into the truck for the night. Fixing to watch a movie I've downloaded from Netflix. I've actually downloaded about six movies off of Netflix. Um, uh, the latest Transformers movie, I haven't seen that yet. A movie called Awake, I haven't seen that yet. Another movie called Uncharted, I haven't seen that yet. There's a comedy science fiction called Blasted, I haven't seen that yet. Bullet Train, and, uh, oh, what's this last one? Ghost Shell. Who knows? I think I might try Blasted. A little comedy, science fiction. Uh, while I get tucked in bed. And uh, I got the heater set up. Got my coffee maker ready for the morning. I uh, am pretty much good to go. I uh, am ready to rock. So I will see you guys in the morning uh, with coffee. Thanks. Well, I finished watching Blasted. It was funny and ridiculous. Um, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a better review in the morning. It's time to go to bed. I will uh, see you at coffee. Good night, y'all. Morning, everyone. Coffee is made. It's a chilly morning, got down to 36 last night. I am uh, gonna have myself some coffee, listening to some good tunes, and um, get to making myself some breakfast before my explorations of the park begin today. So here's to the first sip. So one of my favorite additions on this trip is this new faucet. Uh, it fits right over a water bottle or a, or a jug. And all you gotta do is just press this button and it dispenses your water. Uh, interesting thing about it is, is it's uh, USB rechargeable. And the great thing is, is it will completely empty this jug of water on one charge. So it makes, you know, it's, uh, makes camping so much easier, especially making coffee. So this morning for breakfast, it's a couple of classic breakfast burritos. Well, maybe not so classic. These are double ham and cheese. Love them. 
I'm just seeing my hair in the in the camera. It's uh, it's hilarious. I uh, I keep reminding myself to bring a comb, but yeah, the hell with it. So back to breakfast. Um, you guys remember Underwood deviled ham? Yeah, yeah, it's really good stuff. It's great for camping because it keeps forever. And uh, I I make these uh, burritos with uh, with cheese in there. Melt them up in the pan. They're very, very tasty. Mm. I seem to be using a lot of wraps when I go camping now. They pack a lot smaller, less likely to get crushed and stuff. And versatile. Well, I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast and drinking my coffee and we'll see you guys in a bit we'll decide what we're going to do for the day well i found my hat so that's good for the hair issue also because it's so damn sunny and it's warming up so fast i already shed my coat and uh it's going to be a lovely day uh it's going to be uh in the low 60s today so I'm going to be enjoying a, a mountain bike ride around the park and uh, we'll see what we can see. Go down to the river and stuff. Yeah, we'll see you later after I'm done with my coffee. Some of y'all might know I'm a science fiction author. And one of the things that I'm doing on this camping adventure is working on the outline for my next novel. Um, I have a writer's retreat coming up in a couple of weeks. I might do a, uh, do a video for the channel uh, on that as an old guy camping adventure. Although it's not really camping. I'll be staying in a friend's cottage. Um, but anyway... I'm, just sitting here staring off into space but in actuality what I'm doing is forming the outline in my brain for the next novel man it's fun doing that it just is firing all the synapses off simultaneous I really love that and I love coffee too drinks drink coffee make stuff up Oh, yeah. Wiped out again. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I think I dislocated my shoulder. This is not gonna be fun. Fucking A.